As you guys may or may not know, the Blockfruits developers themselves confirmed that every single gun inside of the game will get reworked from the ground up. So today, I'm going to be rating every single gun in Blockfruits from a scale of 1 stars all the way up to 5 stars. And then once the gun reworks drop, I'm going to do the same video again where I rate all the reworked guns on a scale of 1 to 10. So make sure to stay subscribed for that. If you guys want a free mythical fruit, then all you gotta do is leave a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and comment your username with it in the comment section. So the first gun in the game can be bought from this guy, the weapon dealer. So we go ahead and talk to this man. It's already the first thing there the slingshot and as you can see it costs five thousand dollars as you can see it's a very basic and uh, very bland design to your average slingshot you know it looks like the letter y there isn't any npcs here so let's just shoot it at this like random painting here it doesn't even have anything on it very basic m1 just like a little white line but you know it's a common gun what else can you really expect the z skill is called sticky pellets boom there we go. As you can see, it puts like a little uh, circle on the ground. Pretty interesting. And of course, the explosive pellet. Let's try this one now. Boom. Oh, okay. That ability is actually kind of nice. Of course, I'm going to have to give the slingshot a one star rating because it is the worst gun in the game. And guns I'm going to rate later in the video are so, so much better. A lot of guns are actually from the same guy right here, the weapon dealer. So let's just go ahead and talk to this guy. And we will find ourselves with the musket. All right. As you can see, $8,000 to obtain this item. And as you can see, it's about as basic as you can get. That one's kind of have like a big cooldown. It does look better than the other one. It has like more like attention to detail with the effects the slingshot just kind of had like a white line this new ability is dragon bullet let's see what that does boom okay it's so just like a tiny little explosion and the x ability is bold pistolero all right bold pistolero boom okay just puts like a little tornado he gets like launched in the sky a little bit the slingshot is a little better in my opinion i'm gonna have to give it a two star rating and that is my final rating for the musket up next the same old weapon dealer we got ourselves the flint lock and as you can see it costs ten thousand five hundred dollars to obtain and as you can see it's about as basic as it can get but once the gun reworks drop this thing is probably gonna look actually sick hey let's just shoot this random noob again boom okay the m1s look pretty basic um it's uh currently dealing no damage can i shoot him from here boom as you can see yeah the m1s look extremely basic well the z ability is the same shot let's go ahead and see what that does as you can see it just shoots like a little uh pink thingy and let's check out the x ability the rapid gun let's go ahead and aim at that thing right there oh okay it shoots three shots instead of one my final rating for this is two and a half stars because i don't think i can give it anything higher than that i can't really give it a three star because that's for some things later in the video the next gun you have a very low chance of obtaining from the building behind me the factory all right and basically uh every like hour or two this factory will open up in the second c and you gotta go in there and destroy the core if you're lucky enough you can obtain this guy the obsidian rifle as you can see um it looks way better than any gun we've seen so far so instantly i'm gonna have to give it a better rating because of that oh it does acid damage yo it's getting a higher rating for that yo it does acid damage with the m1s so what the heck all right the z skill is spiky bomb let's go ahead and use that right now boom okay that one doesn't do acid damage but uh, i'm assuming because the x ability does the x ability is acidic smoke so boom there we go okay yeah the, the skills are not i don't know it defeats the whole purpose of the snm rifle if it doesn't even do acid damage for anything besides the m1s uh three and a half stars though because it's one of the best guns in the game the next gun can be found the haunted ship and is sold by this guy el raldo lafo i don't know how to say his name all right we have it the bizarre rifle all right now this gun actually has something pretty interesting about it and luckily there's npcs here so we can actually test out the skills so let me just go ahead and use the heat seeking shot ability let me actually aim it off to the side of this guy and you'll notice that it still locks onto him because this gun literally has built-in aimbot if you literally miss the shot it'll just track the nearest player or enemy near it so actually if you had stats on this gun it would be kind of op because you could just go like bop and then it just instantly locks on anyone near it and of course the x ability is held by your showers let's just go ahead and do that right now Ooh, it does burn damage okay i like that i like the burn damage i actually like the burn damage i think i'm gonna give it another three and a half star rating simply because of that aimbot ability 
It's just not the best gun in the game. We have better ones to rank. Don't worry. Okay, so the next couple guns can actually be found by this guy down here. The Advanced Weapon Dealer. So, um, we got the Refined Slingshot as the first gun. And as you can see, it costs $30,000. As you can see, it's very, uh, refined. It's the same thing as the regular Slingshot, but with different colors. But is it any better than the regular Slingshot? Let's go ahead and find out. First of all, M1. It literally looks the exact same. Okay, wow. Um, I have a feeling this thing is going to be very similar. Alright. The Z skill is Sticky Pellets. Let's just go ahead and use that. It's literally the same thing, but bigger. Okay. The X ability is Explosive Pellet. It's literally the exact same as the regular slingshot, so... Because it's the exact same thing and I can't tell any differences, it's getting the same rating. It is a one-star rating. I'm giving this the literal exact same rating because it's the literal exact same gun. I, there's barely any difference. We gotta go ahead and talk to this guy again to obtain our next gun, which is the refined flintlock. I have a feeling it's gonna be the literal exact same as the other flintlock. Kinda like how the refined slingshot is the same thing as the other slingshot. Alright, let's see why this flintlock is so refined. Disabling shot. Boom. That literally looks the exact same. I don't even think there's any difference. Maybe the, like, the range is bigger or something. I have no idea. M1. It looks the same to me. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. The uh, X ability is rapid gun. Boom. It's the same exact thing. Yeah, whatever rating I gave the regular flintlock, that's what this one gets because this one is literally the exact same thing. The final gun from this guy, if we just go ahead and talk to him, is the cannon. As you can see, it costs 100,000 belly, which is not that much, but it is a lot for the first C. As you can see, this thing is gigantic. You can barely see because it's nighttime right now, but if I put it against this wall, you can see the model now. Yeah, what the actual heck? This thing is actually, like, bigger than my head. Alright, the M1. Okay, and that was like a little explosion thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The first ability is Alpha Wave. Alpha Wave, boom! Okay, it like pushes them back. That's pretty sick, not gonna lie. The X ability is Incendiary Ammo. So just go ahead and do that right now. Boom! Okay. It doesn't do burn damage though. So yeah, overall this gun, two and a half stars for this gun. Because literally, it's better than the other two we just looked at. And also, the ability is actually kind of funny to use. That one, it like pushes them back and he like topples over. I kind of like that ability. The next gun can actually be found behind me in this volcano right here because you have to actually kill a boss to obtain it this one right here oh yeah buddy's not going to be surviving against all of my kitsune powers right now and he is dead instantly you have a pretty low chance of getting it i didn't even get it right there wow i totally just got it first try from the boss and i definitely didn't already have it because i definitely don't already have every single gun in the game the m1 boom it looks the same as some other guns we've checked out it literally looks the same as the refined flintlock but okay sure the z ability is dragon bullet Okay, but bro, I'm noticing a pattern. A lot of these guns uh, use the same exact effects. All right, the X ability is Ball of Pistolero. It's literally the same as the other musket. What do you mean it's the same? Whatever rating I gave the other musket is what this one gets because it literally sucks. It's the same exact thing. The next gun is actually from a boss that's also behind me. The Whisper Boss, all right? Just to really put the nail in the coffin, we're gonna go ahead and equip Mammoth. And we're just gonna go ahead. Hey, buddy, you better drop me that bazooka. You better drop me that bazooka, buddy. I'm literally using all of my Mammoth Stampede abilities, bro. Oh my god, it's actually kind of hard to stampede this guy. There we go. He just died. And of course, we didn't get it. Just kidding, we got it first try. I definitely didn't already have it or anything. Uh, the model's pretty decent. I like it. It's pretty nice. Pretty giant, too. All right, so the M1. Oh, it should take a little rocket at them. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I kind of like the little rocket. The Z ability is Alpha Wave. Boom. Ooh, okay. That looks similar to uh, one of the other guns that we saw earlier, but way bigger and way better. I actually like this one. Incendiary Ammo is the X ability. Oh my god, okay, yeah, you know what, I like the bazooka, it's actually pretty good, um, you know what, just so that I don't give everything the same rating, this thing is getting three stars, because it's better than a lot of the other guns we've checked out so far. The next gun can be found on this tiny remote island, which is literally called Remote Island, and it's actually obtained by this guy, the strongest god. If I talk to him, he says that you already have my slingshot, because, well, yeah, like I said, I have every gun in the game. But as you can see, here's the thing that bro gives you, a uh, very basic, Oh my god, the last gun that we checked out the bazooka had a better M1 than this uh, kabucha here. That's kind of crazy. How did the first C guns have better M1 uh, effects? I don't know. When the gun reward comes out, this thing's going to be awesome. So the Z ability is Flying Fire Bird. Boom. 
as you can see yeah just like a very basic effect if you hit it right it can like put a bunch of flames in the ground pretty interesting the ability is intense wins let's just go ahead aim at the guy who literally gave us the gun and boom yeah, um, that ability goes pretty far, and it's actually used for combos mostly. I'm gonna give this gun a three and a half star rating because it's very good for combos, and I'm pretty sure the Z ability does fire damage or something. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's only two guns left, and the first one is from this boss, the Island Empress. Right, once we kill this boss, we can finally get our next gun. Of course, I didn't actually get it, but once again, we magically got it first try. As you can see, the gun's design is literally just a green snake. Pretty cool, right? All right, the M1s. Boom, take that. Oh, it does poison damage. Oh, I mean, it's only for like two seconds. But if you have stats on that, it's going to be pretty OP. It's going to be like at least like two or three K damage right there. Just off the M1. If you have max stats, that's pretty cool. All right, the Z ability is poisonous blast. Boom. Oh, that also does poison damage. That's sick. If you do that and then you start M1ing them. The X ability is snake bind. Boom. Okay, that sucks. What the heck? Okay, the X ability is not the best part of this gun, clearly. But yeah, this is actually one of my favorite guns in the entire game. I don't really use it much, but it's pretty sick. I'm gonna give this gun a four-star rating, just because if you know how to use it, this can be one of the best guns, especially if you have stats on it. Like, if you race Awaken and you get points on it, it's gonna do a lot of damage. That's also poison. The final gun can be bought from this guy. He doesn't really have a name, but he's just kind of here inside of the Haunted Castle. But before you can actually get the gun, you have to do an entire very complicated quest line to obtain it. It costs 500 bones, 250 ectoplasm, one dark fragment, and 5,000 normal fragments, which is kind of insane. Anyways, once you go ahead and do the quest, you talk to this guy, as you can see, he says I already own this item, and that's because I do. The soul guitar. Look at that. It's literally just like a green skull with the guitar on it. Pretty sick. It has way more, like, detail than any other M1. It's like the biggest M1 we've seen. Also, it's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Alright, the Z the ability is Soul Shaker. All right, let's just go ahead and boom. Yeah, that one's pretty sick, not gonna lie. It's very hard to aim that ability, though, is my only complaint, all right? The ability is El Diablo, so let's just go ahead and use that on these guys right here. Boom! As you can see, it's just like a giant AoE range, and anything in that will get stunned for a couple seconds, which is why this is the best gun inside of Blocks Fruits, and why so many people, including myself, use it inside of PvP. This gun is gonna get a 5-star rating, because this is the best gun in Blocks Fruits, and I will not have any arguments about it i don't care hey remember this serpent bow that we looked at before if you want to see what it's going to look like once it gets reworked then click this video on screen right now as i go over the new leaks that indra posted on his twitter 